With the Pepe token absolutely going parabolic, it's taken the crypto space by storm. In this video, I want to talk about where to buy Pepe if you're looking at centralized exchanges and or on the decentralized side of things, which is Uniswap, because this is an Ethereum-based token. All Ethereum-based tokens can be had on Uniswap. Now, we're going to dive into some of the major exchanges that have recently listed Pepe and talk a little bit about if you want to buy in a centralized exchange, which ones are carrying the most volume and which ones are the top exchanges by volume. Because when I'm looking to buy a particular crypto and I want to hold it on an exchange, at least for a short period of time, I'm looking at large exchanges, right? Because your money is more safe there. Now, full disclosure, whenever you buy on a centralized exchange, keep in mind, it is not your crypto. That platform, that company is essentially lending your Pepe tokens to you. Meaning you don't own your Pepe unless you do it through Uniswap. So personally, I do not hold ERC-20 tokens like Pepe on centralized exchanges. However, for some, it works, right? It's not a one size fits all. But let's dive in because Pepe has continued to move up and again, taken the crypto space by storm. It is absolutely crazy that we are looking at Pepe right now as a $683 million market cap. This is absolutely insane to me. Look at this. The amount of volume that has come in in the last 24 hours. Now, this is combined volume. $342 million, which is up 31%. Market cap, $683 million. We are closer to $1 billion mark than many people anticipated. Now, when we look at markets, scroll down here. You're usually set up on overview when you come to the site. But if you go to markets, you'll scroll on down and you'll see that a lot of the volume is coming through Uniswap. But surprisingly enough, a new exchange that recently listed Pepe is seeing the most amount of volume, and that is OKX. This is a huge, huge platform by volume. You're seeing in the last 24 hours, $109 million coming through right now on OKX. That's making, making up 32%. That Gate.io and Huobi are some of the larger exchanges. Now, Mexi also is seeing a ton of volume as well. We could sort it by volume and you could see what's been happening here. Uh, here, and here we go, volume percentage. There we go. And we can see OKX number one, Uniswap number two, Mexi right here after Uniswap V2, Gate.io and Huobi. So if I'm looking at centralized exchanges, I'm gonna go with the three that have the most volume. By the way, these are the three largest that uh, have listed Pepe to this point, Huobi, Gate, and Mexi, and OKX, actually. So those four, uh, I don't want to leave out OKX. That's number one. OKX, Mexi, Gate, and Huobi. <coughs> Excuse me. It's also available, though, on some smaller exchanges as well, depending on where you are in the world. Bing X, L Bank, which is one I've used uh, in the past, Hotcoin Global, Digifinex, Bit4X, Polyanex, just to name a few. But again, this is where you can buy Pepe. Now, you have to do what's best for you, depending on where you are in the world, what you like in terms of the platform. So I highly encourage you to try things out. But if you're just looking at it from a volume standpoint, OKX, Mexi, Gate, and Huobi on the centralized exchange have the most volume coming into Pepe on a daily basis. Now, again, on the DEX side, it's Uniswap. I highly encourage you to look into this potential uh, opportunity because, again, when you have your tokens on Uniswap, and this goes for any ERC-20 token, which Pepe is, these are actually yours. You control them. You have the keys. So hopefully this video helps. Appreciate you guys, as always, for stopping back by the channel. If you got some value out of this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below. We'll see you in the next one.